He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Well, it's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottled him up for a short game. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Will go ground, running right through the trenches. This would be a 34-yard field goal attempt. And he converts here on the field goal try. That field goal widens the gap here after one, Phil. Jim, they have everything going right now in their favor. They're confident. They're playing well. They're emotional. Everything you want as a football team, they got it done here in the first quarter. Bell's going to test the coverage here. Tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Buccaneers' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive, and they got good let's players, run, run, and they're pretty let's excited, run. so this is going to be tough on the offense. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Tackled right around the 35 yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Here's the quick toss. Wins there that time for the tackle. The Buccaneers' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Coming to the line at the 50. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Picks up maybe three. Martin's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down and six. Safarian Jenkins got it. First down. the 31 here we go this has got to be a blitz look how everybody's crowding the line of scrimmage first and ten Winston's on the move not able to get away from Tulloch that time the Buccaneers take it from the 23 Martin's met at the 23 Buccaneers take it from the 23. And that's a two-yard game. Martin's trying to find a way to pick up that short yard of situation on third down, but the defense does an outstanding job, on especially the defensive line. Nowhere to run and no first down. Quinn's there to make the stop. The Buccaneers really have great faith in their offense. They go for it on fourth down, and that faith paid off when they picked it up. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. First and goal. Flip to the outside. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the old line. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. return 
completely covered. Tackling him inside the 15. The Lions offense ready to continue its recent run here as they've scored the last two times they've had it, Phil. Let's look at it from the defensive side. You know, what do you think they're thinking? Oh my gosh, what's coming next? Because everything the offense has tried so far has worked. Stafford's ready for the snap. Empty backfield. Matthew Stafford backed off the line. Shotgun formation. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. And they take him down. Well, every defense is looking for somebody to sack the quarterback. At that time, the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Running room. <laughs> Bell is in the backfield. The Lions have it at the 24. Jones is the one who made the big stop. The Buccaneers' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. The Lions take it from the 23. Over to Ebron. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The Lions from the 27. Take the target with the catch. On his way. Charging ahead. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. And the extra point is good. The Lions ready to kick it away. Bell's going to run this one out. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Buccaneers coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. First down at the 21. And he makes the catch. No, no, the ball comes out. The ball is knocked out of his hands. Looks like they're in press coverage here. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Whitehead takes him to the ground. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. The Buccaneers come out with a split backfield. Doug Martin with the grab. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that timeout. Those are big down the stretch. The Lions are more than happy to take that gift. The offense backed up in its own territory, and they go for it on fourth down and don't make it. Good job by the defense. Matthew Stafford will be under center. First down at the 16. Bell is tackled down. That's going to be a pickup of seven. 
Well, if you're a good running back, when there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. Second and three coming up. Gets the handle here. The ball is fumbled. The defender downs him as he's already on the ground. That makes it official. The Buccaneers retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. Down the field. And it's incomplete. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. A long field ahead of him at the 10. Press coverage all the way. Second and 10. Doug Martin carries the football. Well, you got to know the situation as a player. Even if the coaches didn't tell you this, you should know it. When you get a chance inside of two minutes to get out of bounds, you do it. Third down. No bump coverage here. Corners backing up. The Buccaneers will set up. The 20 is the first down line. Evans with the reception. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Buccaneers will go for it here on fourth down and a short yardage situation. Good job by the offense going the hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. The Buccaneers call the timeout. They're first. Buccaneers lined up. Bunch formation. Now first and ten. And Evans has got it on a pass that had some heat. A foot race to the end zone. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. As we near halftime, that was a much-needed touchdown that suddenly gets this team mentally, and even on the scoreboard, right back into this game, Phil. Uh, changed everything, Jim, didn't it? I mean, it changed the fans, the way they're looking at the game, the coaches, the players. It's, it's amazing. One play, and look what it did to this football game. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Lions just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. The quarterback... He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Ebron's got the catch and the first. The Lions signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Stafford from the gun. Intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Buccaneers have put up the points. It's just they can't stop anybody to this point, Phil. Yeah, you're right. Defense has been bad. And the offensive side, the offensive line, they have been so dominant. Can this offensive line keep dominating the way they have? I think they can. Go out there, keep calling those plays, and try to find a way to score. First down at the 41. On the intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. 
the Lions offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal and he's forced to the ground got to give the defense a lot of credit here you want to stop the offense and scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half good pressure on the quarterback and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. and as the second quarter comes